Here are the objectives for lesson 8.4, strong and weak acids and bases. Now the simple definition for the difference between strong and weak acids and bases are strong acids and bases completely dissociate. So it's of extreme importance that you make sure you do this arrow here. For the weak acids and bases, they do not completely dissociate and so they form this equilibrium. So make sure you, you do this uh, doubled arrow here. So here we have it again, strong acids completely dissociate, uh, split up into ions in aqueous solution. Make sure you list all these things when you give a definition. And here we have a monoprotic, only gives off one protein, and a diprotic. So you would expect for equal concentrations uh, that this here would have a double the pH here, and so that will also react twice as well, and also have uh, more conductivity and various other properties that result from this double release of hydrogen ions. Here we have also sodium uh, bases completely dissociating, creating a strong base. Weak acids and bases partially dissociate into ions in aqueous solution. Here's the double arrow. And here you have some examples, ethanoic acid and ammonia. Just going over the properties again. So the weak acid will have a higher pH than a strong acid at the same concentration because not all of the hydrogen ions have come off with the weak acid. So in that sense, uh, in that same way, so the conductivity won't be as strong and the reactivity won't be as strong. Now you will be expected to know some strong acids and weak acids and bases. Here I have a table uh, showing them in order. Now this is quite useful here to know that sulfuric acid is stronger than nitric acid which we've discussed which we will discuss in organic chemistry some other ways to work that out and as you go down here you'll see that they're getting weaker and weaker and so uh, carbonic acid is here so that's to the negative seven these ones are the positive so they're extremely strong hydrochloric acid sorry is up here so these are the three main ones here and as we go down we're getting the weaker acids now another thing to notice here is uh, the bases, so if you want to uh, add an OH on here to make it, make it a base, and so if you're trying to make various salts, uh, if you're trying to get the last bit, have a look here. So if you're trying to get a chloride salt, hydrochloric acid is an option. If you're trying to get a bromide salt, hydrobromic acid would be an option. And then if you're trying to get something that uh, you didn't react it with a base. So if you're trying to get uh, some sort of metal, just put a hydroxide on it. So if you're trying to get maybe a, a sodium chloride, a sodium, uh, so bromide salt, you'd use sodium NaOH. If you're trying to get maybe a magnesium salt, you just do MgOH. So the simplest ways are to grab uh, a hydroxide of the metal, maybe a carbonate of the metal. So using your reactions to work out uh, which sort of metal you want in your base and which sort of non-metal you want from your acid and you combine those two together to get your salt. So you will need to have these ones learnt. Uh, you'll need to know that these three are strong acids and hydroxides, group 1 hydroxides are strong bases. Uh, ammonia and, and amines are the common bases. You definitely need to know some of those for examples. Uh, carbonic acids in the blood and carboxylic acids, most importantly is ethanoic acid. Now ethanoic acid is also known as vinegar, it's also known as acetic acid. Be reminded that just, just because it's a weak acid or a weak base does not mean it's not dangerous. You just can have it more concentrated. So glacial acetic acid is about 18 molar, that's 99, 99% and that has a pH of about 2.4. So just by making the weak acid very concentrated, you can still get a lot of protons present. Uh, and same with ammonia. Ammonia can be quite dangerous as well in con when it's concentrated. So make sure you know the difference between dilute and concentrated. You can still make strong acids very dilute, such as one molar, and so they're not very dangerous because they don't have a lot of, because they're diluted out, they don't have many hydrogen ions. And you can still make the weak acids and weak bases very dangerous by concentrating them so that they do have a lot of hydrogen or hydroxide ions. So have a go here and match up these uh, for strong and weak acids and bases. See how you go. And that's the end.